Percy and Tyson. And when you think about his friendship with Grover too, yeah. Percy's got the thing like me for the underdog. He's like, yeah. I, everybody isn't noticing this person in the way they should. So I'm taking them under my wing. I love, I love Tyson so much because the whole thing on the show where they're like monsters don't always look like monsters is so like a personification of that is Tyson where he's like a cyclops or whatever but he is like the sweetest most precious child like the first time you ever hear about him is is um Sally telling Percy to go and meet him because he's scared of going on the underground subway by himself yeah. and that he like cries at school when people are mean to him so Percy gives him like a peanut butter sandwich and to make him feel better and yeah. and just like it, I don't know like we obviously don't know like and I don't know if anyone would ask Rick things like this like what he like based like Tyson's kind of like innocent or like I don't know stuff on like how he acts like how sweet he is but at least for me being an autistic person it reminds me of autistic people sometimes of how like being afraid of going underground by yourself being like overwhelmed by people at school being mean to you not knowing how to handle just like normal things and kind of needing somebody like someone else like percy to be around to just kind of help you out and protect you when people are being mean where you just sit there and cry even though you're a cyclops and you could easily kill all of them you don't want he doesn't want to he doesn't want to hurt anybody yeah. but i don't know if that was what he was going for or not but i liked i liked it because it reminded me of a lot of autistic people especially autistic kids but really any autistic people when we're not like masking or like pretending like we're fine that's kind of what we're like on the inside where we just want to like cry because we're overwhelmed by like simple things <laughs> and so i found that i liked that like reading that this time because i definitely didn't know that i was autistic the first time i read these books and i was like oh that's very it's very sweet either way how he like frames somebody like tyson like the the i saw i found like a a free like pdf of cf monsters that i'm reading it on because i don't have any money and so i in that pdf version they have like the original dialogue where the kid that's the big um rich bully well uh, calls per uh not percy calls tyson the arsler mm -hmm. and percy just gets so mad at him especially for that and it's like he is not that he is like a good kid and get the and like threatens basically to like fight like stops himself from actually fighting him mm -hmm. and i was like that's really good to have in a kids ish book to have a, something like that out there to tell them like no don't say that word don't talk don't treat kids this way because tyson yeah. is like a million kids that i can remember going to school with yeah He's just kind of like forgotten. And um, I mean, the mist makes it even more sad because the mist prevents him from being helped at all. Like we we hear that Sally's called social services, but for whatever reason, they can't see past the mist enough to even find him. Like mm -hmm. his his whole refrigerator box that he sleeps in is not there for them. Yeah. And it's it's also like a thing of this like super like rich school with like really rich like kids that are seen as like you know troublesome probably like rich kids go to going to a school like this mm -hmm. just so they can graduate that they ad like adopt somebody like tyson um pure because to try to make it look like they're nice people um <laughs> it just reminds me of a lot of people i knew at school that would do things like that of acting like oh we're nice see we're helpful we're helping the community we're adopting this like homeless child but also he's relentlessly bullied the entire time he's at school and Percy he doesn't know. have any friends because he's nice to tyson and they literally tell him in front of tyson if you weren't friends with him we would be friends with you or you would have more friends percy doesn't care because he's a nice he's a good person but but like the part that like killed me was at like the end ish of when they're at school before everything happens at in gym that Tyson is like sitting there crying being like, I don't know what's going to happen to me next year if you're not here. Because whether the school pretends like they're nice or not, like 
Percy's the only reason he made it through that school year because he like basically is like his little bodyguard and if Percy's not there he's definitely not going to last and the school might not even bring him back next year (laughs) and it's just like that whole horrible thing of Jesus Christ this is like a homeless child and the school just doesn't doesn't actually care and they're so mean to Tyson they are so mean and it, like Percy even calls it what it is and he's like they like feeling more powerful than the six foot kid mm-hmm. um, because he scares so easily and because he's so sensitive and I I love how Percy never gets like frustrated with Tyson like literally ever and all of the in all of the books <laughs> there's never a point where he's like God stop crying or yeah. like can you just be like tougher or stronger or what? No, he never says that to Tyson. And it's like reason 5,000 why you can love Percy as a character, but but it's still so sweet to see him have Tyson as like his brother and like fight anybody who is mean to him. Like anyone who's mean to Tyson will die. (laughs) Like don't, don't do it. Just don't do it. He don't was being a brother before he even knew. It's so sweet. Mm-hmm. And it's just so sweet how protective he is of him and how he doesn't... Cause to go with, like, if you want to think that Tyson is someone who has any sort of disability, like, one of the things that's hard when you have one like that that affects the way that you live like that is feeling like you're, like, a burden on other people or feeling bad for kind of, like, ruining people's good times or whatever because you can't do it. I love seeing anything in like media like this that shows that like you're supposed to be like the patient and kind and empathetic person when there's someone like that like Mm -hmm. you should never be like the people that are mean to Tyson are seen as the like the villains you're you're supposed to be nice to those people and not tell them to stop crying or anything like that just like try to make them feel better when they are sad or when they're scared like Percy just gets worried about Tyson when and is like surprised when he's not injured, but he's like scared that Tyson is going to get hurt. Yeah, uh, it's not anything else but that. Like it's just reassuring to see a depiction of somebody like that where nobody is telling him to like toughen up. Yeah, like, a strong man or whatever. 